I thought I would take a moment to laugh about this whole Shane Gillis situation. I find this all to be very amusing. Shane Gillis has uh, Shane Gillis is a guy who was canceled for things that he said on his podcast. I don't think anybody who likes comedy, stand-up comedy, or really those types of podcasts really gives a shit about what he said. I think it was funny, personally. Uh, but people got up in arms about this. A bunch of people on social media had a problem with it. It wound up getting him removed from SNL. Now, since being removed from SNL, he's put out some specials. He's risen in the ranks of comedians to the point now where I would argue he's top two, top three, uh, as far as in the entire U.S. for funniest comics and just most liked comics, people you hear being talked about online. And with that has come a couple things. First off, the Bud Light situation. Bud Light got in some hot water because of the whole Dylan Mulvaney situation. Uh, basically got in bed with this uh, trans TikTok star and people got mad about that and made fun of the company to the point where their sales dropped pretty considerably and their stock value dropped. And it actually seemed like that boycott kind of worked. And at the end of the day, uh, it seems like it kind of did, because the reaction was now they have made Shane Gillis basically, uh, they, basically they've sponsored Shane Gillis, and Shane Gillis has now been on like Rogan's podcast, he's talking about this, he's posting photos and stuff online uh, in regards to it, and I think that's a really smart move by Bud Light. But shortly after the Bud Light thing was announced and talked about, I saw uh, that he was going to be hosting Saturday Night Live. Now, it is beyond hilarious that Shane Gillis, a guy who was removed from SNL before he ever got to be on an episode, a guy who created his own uh, sketch comedy special, which is really hilarious and great, a guy who pretty much did SNL better than SNL has been doing lately, uh, is now going to be hosting, right? The guy they removed is now going to be hosting the show. I think that is a poetic ending to this entire thing, and I think it's really quite amusing. Now, there's some reasons I care about this a bit. Um, one of my family members, a cousin of mine, was Gilda Radner, and uh, she was on SNL, and so uh, SNL was always something I enjoyed watching growing up, uh, because those were stories that we always heard. Um, but the problem was is SNL just started to suck around the time that I was actually getting to really enjoy comedy. Um, you know, by the 2010s, 2012s, it had already gone downhill, and by, uh, you know, sort of the wokest era coming in, uh, certainly killed off the last uh, real diehard fans of SNL, in my opinion. So hopefully we see some sort of shift, uh, and this is a start of that. But I'm going to wait and see. We're going to have to watch a couple episodes of this, the Shane Gillis episode, and then the next episode, and see what happens. But I think it's interesting that uh, they're at least attempting to do something funny by bringing somebody who's actually funny on to host. So we'll see how all that goes. Peace.